on top of the world. Hey people down there, this is Tech Beans, the coolest tech channel. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, this was supposed to be an unboxing video, so, well, just that. Hey guys, Vincent Miguel here from Tech Beans, welcome to another video. So we are just going to go back some moments before that craziness happened. But what exactly happened before that? Well, this happened. Mm -hmm. This happened. This happened. So Canon 200D plus 24mm pancake lens. Unboxing coming right up. No. Okay, here we have a couple of boxes here in this Canon bag. First, we have the Canon 24mm f2.8 and the Canon 200D itself. By the way, it's called the Canon SL2 in America and 200D outside of America. So yes, this is the international version that I'm opening up right now. And here are some papers, thick manual. Yeah, the big power cord. And then the small battery, very small battery. Well, the only thing that I'm worried about this is that it might not last me that long. So I might buy a couple of more batteries for this one. But it is light and small, so it's not gonna add up some more weight to the camera. Then the charger for our battery here. And now the 18 to 55 millimeter clip lens. Definitely a great complement to the 200D as the lens is very good for video. And next is the next strap. I'm not gonna open it. And finally, here we have the camera. I have to give credit to Canon. We want this thing to get to you in one piece. The amount of bubble wrap in this thing is just awesome. And here it is, guys. The camera itself, the Canon 200D in all its glory. Look at that beauty. Okay, okay, just one more. Just one more, guys. So here we go. Okay, paper, cardboard, bubble wrap, plastic, lens. Let's go. So guys, this is the 24 millimeter pancake lens. As you can see, my face is huge, like super big. The image is really, really sharp. And the only downside I see on this lens is that if you have any details on your face that you don't want to be seen your, on your camera, then that is going to be the problem. Because this lens tends to pop out extra details on your face. So if you have a big pimple on your nose, it's gonna pop out. As you can see, there's a little bit of blurring going on here in the background and it's my face is totally focused right now. The camera is actually really close. Well, actually it's uh, like a few centimeters away from me. But to show more in the background, I have to move the camera way back here. Way, way back here. There you go. And um, yeah, that's the amount of view you can get at this distance with that lens. So guys, if you're wondering what I have here as my tripod, I'm gonna drop it in the description links below, so check that out. Now this is the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. The field of view is so, so much bigger now. You can see my hands right here. Before, you couldn't see them. The extra details on my face is not very noticeable, so that's also a big plus. And I'm loving the field of view. It gives me a wider field of view. I can totally see myself in frame, and I can totally see the background. If you're vlogging indoors, this is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And as you can see, it's a little bit noisy. When I say noisy, there's a lot of dots going around. So there's a lot of noise going on in low light with this lens. Here is another view from my smartphone camera, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. The camera on my smartphone can really go head to head with the Canon 200D right beside it. Now this is a 24 millimeter pancake lens and this again is my smartphone camera, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge camera. Also guys, FYI, all the cameras that I shot in this video are all set to auto. So no manual settings, no cheating whatsoever. All settings, no cheating whatsoever. Holy shit. I think the smartphone video is so much better. Holy crap. What have I done? $600 down waste. Why did I do this? I should have just bought a smartphone. <laughs> okay. Now that looks so, so much better now. 
So this guys is manual mode. <laughs> For a second thought there, I thought I wasted all of my money. I mean, the smartphone was so, so much better than the DSLR a while ago when I was doing the editing. Guys, if you're considering on buying a DSLR or upgrading to a DSLR, don't shoot at auto. It doesn't know what you want. So yes, guys, there you have it. The Canon 200D, it's small, it's light, it's compact, and it's perfect for vlogging. I'm gonna be talking more in detail on an upcoming video. So if you haven't yet, guys, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon to see it early. Let me know in the comment section below which of the camera lens that I've used in this video is the better lens for vlogging. So guys, thank you so much for sticking around till the very end of this video. Don't forget to drop a like, and I'll see you on the next video.